and welcome back to my channel today I am super excited to be back with a little unboxing slash haul of these two packages that I got recently from two makeup scoops that I picked up from TikTok a while back I don't know if you guys missed the hype when that was going on I'll include some clips that I did film of these scoops being scooped if you guys missed when that was like a thing on TikTok but they recently got banned so I don't know if you guys are gonna be seeing them anymore much because I guess that TikTok considered the lucky makeup scoops gambling so they did ban most of those profiles but I was able to pick these up about a month ago I think I picked the first one up on the 17th the next one on the 18th so I was really excited to finally get them I was getting a little worried because it did take a little less than a month to get here but I guess that's pretty much on brand with anything that you buy from China like if you buy from Aliexpress it does usually take a few weeks to get here but it looked like these two packages were stuck in California for a while with like inspection and all that stuff so I don't know what was going on with all that but I am really excited to show you guys what I got I'm not entirely sure what is in here because you know they just do the scoops really quickly on the live so I'm really excited to see what's in here and I'm excited to see the quality of the makeup hopefully they're really good I do plan on including a lot of these goodies in my birthday giveaway that I do every year in January so look forward to that if I didn't mention it already the profile that I picked these up from is pop color makeup the main host's name is Perry and I really liked watching her lives because she was just really fun and happy and exciting to watch so I'm a little sad that you know they're not doing that anymore but I will include the link in the description box below if you want to check out their profile I know they're doing other kinds of makeup things and nail things now but yeah I'm excited that I was able to pick up the makeup scoops while they were going on because it was just such a fun idea and I'm kind of sad that it was banned but these are the two packages that I did get they did arrive at the same time because like I said I ordered one on the 17th and one on the 18th the smaller one is the first one that I ordered this bigger one is the Black Friday special that I was able to get and they were having a buy one scoop get one scoop free sale so that's why I think it's a little bigger but the freebies varied pretty much every day on these lives so I'm not entirely sure if that also is a factor because honestly it's been a month I can't really remember but anyways I want to start opening these up because I want to start swatching as much as possible so let's get started I'm gonna start off with the little scoop that I picked up on the 17th because you know I want to go in chronological order this first one I bought on a whim I was watching it for a while and then I finally like jumped right in and committed but this scoop I remember it took about like 30 minutes for her from when I ordered it on the website to when she actually physically started scooping it so this one took a little bit I, I think the other one took a bit longer like I remember waiting like an hour to watch my scoop okay so I decided to switch positions because the light is shifting by the window so this is what it looks like inside the packaging like I said it's covered in a styrofoam little sheet I put a little poster board down here so that I have a little surface to open this up on so this is what it looks like in the packaging it looks super fun and I'm really excited if you guys watch these videos or if you just saw the clips from what I posted the pool that she puts all the makeup in has these little foam balls and I have some of the little foam balls in this package I don't know why but that makes me really happy it's just like really cool because they're cute anyways that's just like a random thing that I think is cool so as you guys can see this is what it looks like this is kind of like what she fills up when she's scooping on the lives and I guess this first one was also buy one get one free scoop so I think that I paid $25.99 each for these plus $9.99 shipping for each because I did purchase them separately but they guarantee that you will get at least 25 items so hopefully I have at least 25 items in this bag it is interesting that this one is way smaller 
than the other one or just feels way smaller. So I'm excited to see what's the difference between the two scoops. So I'm just gonna go in order of what's on top. The first thing on top, it says light and silky, exuding charm and color, luxury pet temptation velvet lipstick from the brand Novo. So most of these brands are all gonna be from China, obviously, so I'm not entirely familiar with the brand names. So hopefully they are good. This color is in 196 cinnamon. Sounds like it's gonna be kind of orangey. So let's get this thing open. Hopefully I have a lot of doubles in here. She does try to take out the doubles, but I wanna put in all of the doubles that I do get in my birthday giveaway. So hopefully I've got quite a few. This is what it looks like in the packaging. It is super shiny. It's got this cool little metal ball over here. So you pull it out and oh, it looks more like a brownish red. But I don't know if you guys will see the pattern on the lipstick itself. It's really, really pretty. It looks very fancy. It looks kind of like a snake skin, which is kind of freaking me out. But at the same time, it is very pretty. So I'm going to swatch it. I don't even want to ruin this. I'm going to do a little swatch so that, you know, you guys can see. But this is what it looks like. Sorry for the weird swatch, but the tip is so curved that it's swatched like that. But it is definitely kind of orangey. Smells pretty good. Smells kind of sweet, perfumey. I'm very happy about that because that is one thing that I used to like. I used to order a lot of makeup from AliExpress just for like the cute packaging and all that stuff. And sometimes you'd get makeup that smells like straight up chemicals. So I'm really happy that it smells really good because I'm really sensitive to smells. And this one smells really good and it's really cute. I like the packaging. It is pretty bulky, but I think it's really cute for just like a fun display item. Next up, we've got this eyeshadow palette. I remember her talking about this eyeshadow palette quite a lot. And we've got some of the foam balls as well. The brand for this is called Hojo Shiny Beauty. It says Jewel Luxury Eyeshadow Plate. I did see what this palette looks like on the live. And it looks really cool, the packaging itself. And ooh. This one is pink. I thought they were all like a dark green color, but I guess they are different colors. But this is what the packaging looks like. It's got this liquid glittery, sorry, the window is reflecting on it, but it is super pretty on the outside. I feel like this would make a really cute gift, but let's see if there's a color. It says number 8031. Make more stereo makeup of God. Let the eyes more bright and attractive is what it says on the back. Okay, so let's see. This is what it looks like. It's got the little protective cover right there. There's a mirror. It actually looks really good. Oh, you guys can see the reflection of my camera. <laughs> but it looks really pretty. The colors are really wearable actually, except for maybe this bluish color. But I like that they gave a little pop of something else. But let me swatch this gigantic gold one in the middle here. It feels pretty good. Very shimmery. I am shook. That is actually a really great gold. Like what? That actually looks like it would be a great like highlight color. I do have some makeup remover wipes here so that I can wipe as I go because I knew I was going to be swatching a lot. So don't mind me if I am wiping, but I do want to swatch a matte color as well. So I'm going to swatch this one over here. It is like a purpley color. I know you guys aren't seeing it as clearly, but that swatch is really good. I'm excited to see how that's gonna perform on the eyes, but it's like this purpley, mauve brown color. I really like that, actually. I'm kind of surprised. This is the first eyeshadow palette, and I'm already pretty happy. When I was thinking about ordering the scoops, I was mostly excited about the eyeshadow palettes and the lipsticks, so the fact that the first two things I got are a lipstick and an eyeshadow palette, I'm not too mad about that, but I'm really happy about this palette. The quality is actually surprisingly really good and it doesn't smell bad, which again, excellent plus to have. Next up, we've got this that is actually sealed in a plastic. It says Dazzle Colorful Mascara. The brand is Coolio. And let's see if it says the color on here. Dense and long colorful eyes. It just says number three 
and it looks like the sticker is blue so I'm assuming this is going to be a blue mascara. I think it's blue mascara that my sister once told me that they, for a photo shoot for school they put blue mascara on your eyelashes to make your eyes look bigger. So I think it was blue not purple but if it is that's going to be handy. I do like to try out different things. Don't know if I'd be wearing blue mascara like every day, but it might be cool for photos or something. So this is what the packaging looks like. I love it. It looks really cool. It looks actually pretty high quality, the packaging. A plus so far on all of the packaging on these because it did a good job. This is what the mascara looks like. Looks like a pen. <laughs> it looks so cute. But it says Coolio Fashion and Cool. They always say some weird things on these. Like I noticed when I used to buy makeup on AliExpress, they always say some weird things. But packaging feels really nice and actually really expensive. Like it feels heavyweight. But this is what the brush looks like. It's got the blue mascara on there. Doesn't smell bad, which again, I'm very happy about. So far, very impressed with the packaging and that it doesn't smell bad, so that's a plus. I'm realizing now that this video might take a long time, so I hope you guys grabbed a snack and a drink and are ready for a long video because I feel like this one's gonna be a long one. This next one says a shine eyeliner, long lasting waterproof, quick drying and smudge proof, purple, and it looks like the brand's name is Maliao. It says diamond shine so I guess this is a colored eyeliner I don't really wear eyeliner like that as I'm wearing you know winged eyeliner today but it takes a lot for me to get the courage to do some liner but this one is purple and super glittery I don't know if you guys are can you guys see that it's glittery <gasps> That's actually really pretty. I feel like this would look really good on the lid as like a little pop of color. Then we've got this brush set that is absolutely covered in these foam balls. So I'm gonna take the foam balls off. I'm actually putting them in this little container next to me because I wanna see how many foam balls there are at the end of this. I don't know, it's just a little thing that I was curious about. So <laughs> I am gonna save those. But this is what the brush set looks like. Looks like a generic brush set with like a powder brush, eyeshadow, little comb there. Just looks like a generic one. This one would be a great gift though because it's really pretty. I like the colors of the handles. I think it looks really nice. So got a brush set, got a little bit of everything so far. Speaking of, we've got a little beauty blender set in a heart. This one did crack, I guess, on the way here, but I don't mind because, you know, the packaging was just a little plus, but we've got the two beauty blenders there. Hopefully they're good. Let me give it a squeeze since it's already open, but oh, it feels very nice, very soft. Hopefully they perform well because you can never have enough beauty blenders. I do like that they came in a heart shape case. I wish that it wasn't broken because I probably would have saved this for the giveaway, but hopefully there's another one in here that I can share with you guys because I'm not going to give somebody a little broken heart. <laughs> that's so, that's so sad. <laughs> oh, speaking of, we've got another one. So this one will probably go in the giveaway. We've got another beauty blender heart set. Next up, we've got this little face palette. It says highlight and shadow techniques. It looks like the brand's name is Teco. This is what the packaging looks like. It looks very, very pretty. Sorry, I have to point it downward because the reflection from the window is popping up. It looks like there's expiration dates on these actually. This one says 2024, so that's good to know. It says that Teco, that's easy to know the origin in quotations. That is like the only thing in English on this box. The colors are number two, it says. So let's get this palette open. I'm excited to get another palette. Looks like so far we've got a little bit of everything for real. We've got like a face palette, eyeshadow palette, lipstick, mascara, eyeliner. Looks like we've got a good variety of things. So this is what it looks like. The shades look really cute. I'm excited about this highlight in particular because I need some more highlights. That highlight is actually really good. I know it's getting a little washed out, but it's really nice in person. Let me swatch this blush. Ooh, it's like a peachy pinky color. I really like that. I didn't really want to ruin the bronzer because it's got this cool like gold running through it, but you know, 
do what we gotta do. It looks like it's almost blending into my skin tone, so it might be a little too light for me. I do like the packaging because there's like, you have to press this little button to open it, and it feels pretty good, like, plastic quality. It does smell a little like the like China makeup smell, but I don't mind it too much if it's not too overpowering. I got a little bit of the blue mascara on my fingers, so I was trying to rub it off, but it's starting to look like a bruise now. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys the freebies that I got with this order. I think these are the two freebies that I got. I can't entirely remember, but I did get this makeup bag, which will most likely be in the giveaway because I have plenty of makeup bags and I don't really need any more, but this is what it looks like. Ooh, smells like plastic. It is black and it says light travel on it. It's pretty cute. It's a good size and I like this material because this is like waterproof. So that's always good when it comes to traveling. So we've got that and then we've got the rose palette, which I was really excited about. It was really cute from what I saw. This one came in a little bubble wrap, which is good, and it is also plastic wrapped, which is double good. <laughs> so this one says iGoodCo is the brand, and it says Love and Rosa, 16 colors eyeshadow palette, romance lives on. Very cute. The packaging is so adorable. I really liked it because it reminded me of the Karuchi palette from ColourPop. I feel like that collection is really old by now. Actually, you know what? Let me go find my palette real quick and show you guys a comparison. Okay, so I ran over to my stash real quick and found my Karuchi Femme Rosa palette. So this is what the ColourPop palette looks like and this is what this one looks like. I feel like they're the same vibe, which makes me really happy because I love anything that has to do with roses because my name is Rose Lynn and these are both really, really cute. I'm interested to see if the color palette is gonna be the same. This is what the inside of it looks like. It's got the little mirror there. It says Love and Rosa on it. And these are the shades up close. Very nice, they look really cute. They are a little small, but I actually think they might be the same size as the ones in my ColourPop palette, to be honest. Pretty dirty, but Nope, okay, they're a little smaller. But this one does have more shades on there, so I am excited about this one. I don't know which one to swatch. I kind of want to swatch these cool marbly colors. Do you see these two colors? They look really cool. I'm gonna do this one because it is right on top. Ooh, this is like super soft. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. And wow, that swatch is really, really pigmented. I don't know if you guys are gonna see it well because the light is starting to shift and it is like starting to wash me out over here, but dang, that is really pretty. I'm excited about that one. It is like, ooh, that's like getting hard to wipe off now. <laughs> but I've got a lot of glitter on this arm now. But that one is really nice. I'm excited and this was just the freebie, y'all. Not too bad for a freebie. I'm excited about this one. I'm glad that I was able to get this while they still had it in stock. Next up, we've got another product from that Novo brand. It says Yun Run Shoe Lip Care Set. It says moist and smooth, full and shiny. Gently exfoliates lip keratin, moisturizes dry lip skin, and makes lips appear supple and smooth. Makes lips fuller and lip color is natural shiny. That is a lot of descriptors. But this is what the packaging looks like. It's got this pretty like beachy looking scene on the front. So let's get this open. I guess this is the lip care set. Yeah. So it comes with a lip cream and a lip scrub. Wow, this looks really nice, actually. Look at the packaging. This looks like something you could pick up at like TJ Maxx or something. It's actually really nice. This would make a good gift. Next up, we've got this. It looks a little like opened up right here. This is from the Hojo brand again. It says Powder Tube Light Mist Silky Lip Mud. It says number 208 Sunrise Milk Orange Coffee. That is a very pretty descriptor. This is what it looks like. So I guess this is those lip muds that they call it. I've never heard of a lip mud until the live streams. So I didn't know that was a thing, but I guess it's like a type of liquid lipstick because that's what it looks like. It looks like a thick, thick 
liquid lipstick. This is what it looks like. Oh my, I think that this might have broken in transit because I think the plastic stopper is missing. It does smell good. It smells like vanilla, but it just feels like a thick, moussey liquid lipstick. This is what the color looks like right there. It's like a orangey brown color. I feel like the name Sunrise Milk Orange Coffee is actually a really great description for this lip shade because it looks very orangey brown. It is pretty thick, so I wonder how that's gonna feel on the lips. Hopefully it'll be really comfortable, but it feels like it will be very nice. I will say that the packaging on the outside is just super, super cute. I don't know if you guys are getting a clear look at this. It is just super cute. I love the florals. I feel like this would also make a really cute gift. It just looks really great. It looks like I've got a couple of these, so maybe I'm gonna pull these out. This other one is in the color maroon, and this one is also in Sunrise Milk Orange Coffee. So guess what, you guys? One is definitely going in the giveaway. That makes me really excited. And I'm gonna put this aside so that I remember that that is for the giveaway because I might start getting mixed up because there's a lot of products here. But this is, like I said, the maroon one. This is what it looks like in the tube. It looks like a reddish color. Yeah, it looks like the stopper tube on that other one just wasn't there so oh that's not good <laughs> so it looks like the stopper on this is struggling because of the mousse is so thick but I will fix that later that is a future me problem so this is what the shade looks like up close it looks like a pinky red looks really nice actually next up we've got another eyeshadow palette this kind of reminds me of the eyeshadow palettes you get in like Claire's makeup and like those little makeup kits growing up, you know? But the brand is called Rosa Angel and it's called the Full Glitter Eyeshadow. So this is what the palette looks like. Tell me that's not adorable. This would make such a cute gift for a little kid, like for them to start playing around with makeup. But I don't know which shade. I think I'm gonna swatch this pink one. I'm kind of scared because these chunky glitters freak me out because usually they make a hot mess but this is what it looks like it is actually really nice I'm actually surprised and look at this sometimes you get these palettes and once you swatch that top layer the glitter has gone there's glitter still I'm actually surprised about that I'm I'm pleasantly surprised with this one I would definitely use like some proper glitter glue with this one though because does look like the glitter does have some fallout, so you don't want that going in your eyeballs. But other than that, it seems really, really nice actually. But now I've got glitter like all over my arm. <laughs> Next up, we've got another colored eyeliner. This one looks like it's gonna be red from that same Maliao brand. So let's get this one swatched. That purple one was really nice, so I'm excited to see what this one looks like. This is what the packaging looks like. Just looks like a regular red eyeliner. Ooh, this one is really interesting. It looks very pretty. I don't know if you guys will see it, but it's right there. This one I feel like is a little less potent as the purple one. I like that it's a glittery eyeliner because I feel like that's unique. It looks really cool. Next up we've got this little, I think it's it says palpitate with excitement eyebrow pencil. <laughs> I'm gonna have heart palpitations from this eyebrow pencil apparently, but the brand's name is Suikoni. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna open this one up because I don't actually use eyebrow products, so I'm gonna put this in the giveaway right off the bat just so that I don't open up the plastic you know, packaging, but I will say the box looks really cute. Looks like I've got two of them. I wonder if they're the same color. This one is in 04. And this one is also in 04, so we've got two for the giveaway already. Then we've got this cute box. It says Silk and Satin Soft Mist Shaking Lipstick. Shaking Lipstick from that Novo brand, and it says Soft Fog on here. Look at this box, though. It is really, really beautiful, and it's kind of like shimmering. I don't know if... Oh, there you go. You can see it. it looks like Edward Cullen's skin kind of <laughs> but this is in the shade lasting color number one let's get this one open oh 
This is not what I was expecting. Looks like a nail polish. I am very confused. I can see myself in the little metal part. Very cool. <laughs> but I'm assuming, yep, it opens up like this. This is super cute. Whoa. This is Merry Christmas. It says Merry Christmas on it. That is so cool. It says Merry Christmas on it. That is so stinking cute. I don't want to ruin it by swatching it, but I told you guys I was going to swatch everything, so I'm going to swatch it. But it is this pretty red color. It feels very soft when I swatch it. Feels like it's going to be like a hydrating lipstick, which I really like because I'm not really into matte lipsticks anymore. So I'm excited to give this a shot. This one has a similar smell to the other ones where it's like kind of sweet, but florally perfumey. It smells really good though. So I'm excited about this one. I love the packaging. This one so far is like, I'm shook because that little Merry Christmas, that got me. Next up, we've got this little box. It says, the fog light feeling and rich with color. It says, fog gauze, colorful air lip glaze. Lip glaze from the Coolio brand. The one thing I will say is the descriptors on these boxes sometimes be acting crazy, but you know, they are being translated, I'm assuming, from a different language, so I try to cut them some slack. But this one is in the shade number two. This is what the packaging looks like. It looks super cute. It feels very, like, weighty. It looks really nice. So again, this is in shade number two. Lip glaze. It looks like it's similar to that mousse. Ooh, that's like a nice dark red color. That is what it looks like. That so far I think is the deepest red color that we've gotten so far other than those brownie reds. I like that it's slim and sleek. This one is very, very cute. I like the packaging on this one. Next up, we've got one of the products that I was most excited about. She used to call this like the Angel Baby Lipstick, but I thought this was super, super cute. It is called the Velvet Light Matte Lipstick, and this is also from Coolio. So far, I really, really like the packaging of everything. Just look at that. This looks very high quality. The shade is in number three. I'm hoping it's a wearable shade for me because I am really excited about this one. So this is what the lipstick looks like. It's got the cutest little packaging with the sweet angel on it. Okay, this is kind of a bulky packaging to be honest, but it is just so, so cute. So I guess it's worth it for the cuteness. This is what it looks like up close. Holy cow. There's like a really pretty like lady on here with some fabulous hair. Whoa, I don't, again, I don't really wanna swatch this because it is so, so pretty. So this is what it looks like up close. Are you guys kidding me? How am I supposed to use this lipstick? It is so pretty. Oh my goodness. This one smells kind of sweet fruity compared to the other ones, so I'm gonna swatch it. Oh, this one is like a lighter color, but again, similar to the other ones, a reddish brownish color, but this one is actually lighter, so I kind of like that shade. Oh, I just noticed there's like a sticker on the front here, so I'm gonna cut this open, because I think it opens or something. Oh. Oh, it like opens to display the lipstick. That's super cute. I didn't even realize that it looks so nice. I guess I could have popped the lipstick out through the front right here. Next up, we've got this little moisturizing care lip balm set. The brand I think is Nikor, but they look like little Vaseline pots, which is really cute. It looks like the different scents are like cherry blossom, honey, avocado. I don't know what this one is. It's like, they look like bubbles, but it's super cute. I'm probably gonna use this because you can always use some more lip balms. Then next up, we've got the Cloud Eyebrow Scene Eyebrow Pen. And this is from Coolio once again. It says double head and that it has a diamond shaped nib. It is in the shade two. Again, I don't use eyebrow products, so this will go in the giveaway as well. I wanna show you guys the packaging up close. Look how cute. Are you kidding me? I feel like the actual eyebrow pen is probably gonna be really, really pretty because the packaging is just so, so nice. Next, we've got a little mermaid tail brush. I think this was also a freebie because she gave this out a lot as a freebie, but this is what it looks like. Very cute. I have a couple of these back when this was like 
a thing. Remember when this was like a thing? Next up, we've got another lip glaze from that Coolio brand. Let me see if it's the same color. It is the same color, so this is gonna go in the giveaway because we don't need doubles of everything. So I just realized that the sun was getting a little too bright, so I closed the top of my blinds. Hopefully that'll work and things will not get washed out like they have been for the last couple products. Sorry about that. But the next one is this Velvet Soft Fog Lip Mud from that Coolio brand. This is what the packaging looks like up close. Again, very cute. I love how that looks. Very classy. The shade is number three. So this is what the packaging looks like up close. It is once again that very soft matte, very luxe feeling, which I feel like that looks really good. Like this packaging looks very fancy, but we've got a similar color I feel like once again with that reddish, ooh, this is very moussey as well. I guess it's like most of these products seem very moussey, but I don't know if you guys can see, but that is very pigmented. It is a pretty reddish color, very dark red, which I don't mind because I like wearing dark red colors, so I'm excited about that one. Hopefully the wear is just as good as how it looks. We've got a few more things left in this bag. Next up, we've got this lotion. It looks like it's called Milky Tea Moisture Hand Cream. So what, it's gonna smell like boba? That sounds really good. The brand is called ZZ, I guess. I, I don't know how you would pronounce that, but this is what it looks like. The packaging is super, super cute. I wanna see if I can smell this. It is sealed. Yeah, it smells coconutty, but it smells good. Feels good. That's always good to have. It's always good to have extra hand lotions. Next up, we've got this from Hojo again. Again, the packaging is just beautiful. I'm assuming this is a lipstick. I don't really know. There's no descriptors on it. It says that the shade is 21 though. So let me show you guys the packaging up close first because it is so pretty. It's reminiscent of like a cherry blossom pattern. Very cute. This is so pretty. Look at this packaging, y'all. Oh my gosh, that packaging is beautiful. I was definitely expecting a red because of the packaging, but look at the little imprint on there. Very pretty. Again, the packaging on these have been like really stunning. I'm very surprised. That is very, very soft. It is very nice. Let me show you guys a close up. It is this reddish color. It looks very light on camera, but it looks very bright in person. They definitely give a lot of reds, which is fine because I like wearing red lipsticks, but I want to give this a sniff. Oh, it smells like chocolate. It smells so good. It smells like chocolatey and yummy. This is like really pretty. This would make another really great gift, I feel like. That just looks so luxe. So we're down to the last couple ones. Next up, we've got this liquid eyeliner from Assas. Assas? Assas is the brand. This is what it looks like. It is still packaged. I am going to leave this so that I can pass this along on the giveaway because I have a lot of liquid eyeliners and I would like to share as much as possible from this haul. And then last but not least, we've got the Durable and Portable Lasting Fragrance. It says Perfume Stick and this is from that ZZ brand or Gigi, I, I, I'm not sure. It is XIXI, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> but this is what the packaging looks like up close, so let's take it out of the box. We've got this little solid perfume stick, I'm assuming the scent is Eden White Peach number 11. So let's get this open. Oh, looks like a classic, you know, solid perfume. I like the packaging. That feels really nice. <laughs> but that smells so good. Mmm, y'all. Oh, that smells so yummy. Oh, it's so sweet and smells very peachy. It actually reminds me of this like peach gum that used to come in like this little gum set that I would buy from like the Asian stores when I was little. And I think they were like, I think it was the one that was like the green with the, like it was like a little piece of gum, but it tastes exactly like how this smells. I, I feel like this would taste how that tastes, but I would not taste it because you know, this is perfume, but it smells exactly how that tasted. So I'm excited to have this cause it's such a nice little sweet scent i like it i actually think i missed one in the bottom of the bag but we've got this blush it is from siyusu 
I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it's called a highlighter blusher shade face blush makeup in the shade number three. This is what it looks like in the packaging. It looks very nice. So this is what the blush looks like. It is a very thick plastic uh, packaging and this is what it looks like up close. It looks like it's going to be pretty light for me. So I don't think I'm going to swatch it so that I can still give it away. But it is a very cute peachy nude color. So let me put that back in the box because I do not want to ruin it. So that was it for the first scoop. It looks like I got 29 items, not including the two freebies. So that's a pretty good deal. I'm going to give you guys an overview of everything that we got so that we can kind of do like an inventory. But I'm really excited about the things that I got so far. I'm actually really impressed because I was not expecting the qualities to be so good. The packaging so far has been really, really good. And so far the makeup has been performing pretty well. But again, this isn't a legit wear test. So I can give you guys like an update on that if you guys are interested. But let me give you guys a quick overview of what everything looks like. So this is everything that we got today with this first Scoop. A lot of fun looking goodies. Then we've got the two freebies, of course. We've got the rose palette and the makeup bag, so not too bad. So let's get into the second package and start opening that scoop up. Now it's time to get into the bigger package, which I'm really excited about because I cannot remember for the life of me why this one would be way bigger than the other one. So I'm excited to see what's inside here. Just like that first one, we've got an inner styrofoam like thin layer going on. So let's get this off. So this is what it looks like so far. I see a lot of the foam little balls in there. This is what the little label looks like on each of the bags that, again, she scoops on the lives. And this one, as you can see, is also another buy one get one free bag. So I'm assuming that's why there's so many products, but this one definitely looks like there's a lot more goodies than the other one. So I'm really excited about that. I do want to start off with the freebies for this one. I think that these were the three freebies and the lashes as well. So I do have this set of lashes. They are definitely very, very full. I don't think I would wear <laughs> lashes this big, so I will probably include this in the giveaway as well. Then I've also got another one of the rose palettes, so this will probably go in another giveaway as well, because this palette was really great. Then we've got this palette. It says Tartlet High Performance Naturals Be a Mermaid and Make Waves eyeshadow palette, and this is what she called the Mermaid palette. So I'm going to show you guys this in a second, but I wanted to show you guys how I got two of them because one was the original freebie and they ended up putting in another mermaid palette for all of these people that they ended up skipping for a little bit because they jumped from like one number and jumped over like five of us and she ended up putting extra mermaid palettes in all of those people's bags so fortunately I was one of them and I wasn't really in a rush because I was just watching them late night and editing so I got another one so guess what you guys are getting one too because I have two of them so that is exciting and then we've got another one of those same makeup bags so of course that is going to be given away as well so let's get this tartlet palette open I mean we already know this is probably a dupe for a certain brand but let's not get into that this is what it looks like in the packaging it is a little shell and it is it's a weird packaging it's like a foam with like a cardboard around it but that's all right it's got this little brad on there that is holding it together but this is what the palette looks like the colors look actually really pretty very glittery I'm excited if this is anything like that other glitter palette then this is gonna be a good one so let me swatch one of them I don't know which one to swatch because they're all pretty I think I'm gonna do this pretty lavender shade called shipwreck because I am wearing purple and I swatched a pinky color last time so just like that other one like this one is very very pretty but I will say that this one 
seems a little less chunky than the other one, which honestly I don't mind because I feel like the other one might be a little too chunky for my liking because I feel like all I can think of is that it's all gonna fall off on my face. Again, it seems like there is like some glitter under that first initial layer, so hopefully there is a lot of glitter in there and not just like a top layer. But yeah, so one of those palettes are definitely going in a giveaway for you guys. So first up, we've got something else for the giveaway that I am not going to open up because it is an eyebrow pencil. It says multiple effect brow pencil eyes makeup it's eyebrow cream it's an eyebrow pencil professional makeup pro eyebrow pencil and the brand is called katuk <laughs> beautiful makeup <laughs> anyways this is what the packaging looks like it is super cute i like the color scheme it reminds me of victoria's secret and this is in the shade one so i'm not going to open this up because i'm going to put this in the giveaway like i said i don't use brow products so i'm going to put that in the giveaway next up we've got another one of these little lip balm sets i'm actually really excited to be getting repeats because that means there's going to be more in the giveaway for you guys so i feel like this is a good one to have because just little lip balms they're really cute and i love that they come in the little vaseline pots because i love the little vaselines they're so cute i've been putting them on my lashes every day and i'm just like in love with them now next up we've got another one of the angel baby lipsticks this one is in a different shade though this one is in shade six so now that i know that the lipstick opens up like this i'm gonna just pop it right out i love that so let's get this one swatched this one looks like it's basically the same color another reddish color again this one has that beautiful beautiful engraving on it i'm gonna give you guys another close-up just because i want to document this for my own sake because it is so pretty and i want to remember it forever so cool very pretty i hope my camera is doing it justice but anyways let's swatch this on my wrist again it's another red bricky kind of color it's a really pretty color but now i have too many of these reddish colors i feel like and i don't typically pick up like the reddish brownish colors i usually pick up the deep reds the blue reds so I'm not entirely sure I guess I'm gonna try out see if they work on my lips but that is the beauty and the curse with these kind of lucky scoops because you can get a lot of things that you might love and a lot of things you might not so this is the next product we've got this already before again the packaging is amazing immaculate Edward Cullen skin I love it. I don't know if you guys are even seeing the shimmer. It's not doing it justice. So this one is a different shade. It is in number 106. The other one was shade 1, I believe. So let's get this one opened. Ooh, this one is lavender. It's like lavender and rose gold, which is like two of my favorite colors ever so that gets me really excited it is so so pretty it's actually so cute it matches my nails right now how cute is that but this is what the actual shade looks like oh this is the one that says merry christmas i totally forgot already but it says merry christmas right there on the front how cute would this be as a little gift i mean i'm gonna swatch it because i already know i'm gonna like the color because it's like a darker color but dang that is really pretty although it looks very similar to the previous one as well but i don't know if you guys can see the slight color tone difference this one is more of a berry actually like a reddish berry color which makes me even more excited because that's more towards the colors that i do wear so i'm excited about this one i feel like this one is definitely so far top on my favorites list next up we've got another one and this one got a little crushed in transit but this one is the same shade the number 106 so there is gonna be one in the giveaway after all and that makes me super excited because this is such a good representation of me it's got the lavender the rose gold this is perfect for my birthday giveaway so this is gonna go to a lucky person as well if there is a lot of goodies i might have to split up my birthday giveaway into multiple ones this year because 
got a lot to give away already. Next up, we've got two more of these little heart-shaped beauty blender sets. I love these so much and they didn't break in this one, so I'm so excited. I'm gonna keep these for giveaway purposes. I really wish my sister used makeup like that because I feel like this is so right down her alley with the little hearts and the pink. But anyways, I'm excited to have two more of these. Like I said, can't have enough beauty blenders. So I definitely want to share some of these with you guys. I'm excited about this one. Next up, we've got this super, super cute little lip balm. It's called the Little Cute Baby Lip Balm. And it is super super cute oh my god my camera is like washing it out but it's got this cute little it almost looks like a cow like the outline of a cow but with those little tongues sticking out it is super cute it looks like it's gonna be grape flavor the brand is Le Cheer Le Cheer but it is super adorable and the packaging is really cute I hope that this is a good lip balm because like I said can't have enough lip balms in your life next up we've got two more of those little lip care sets and this one came a little open so I didn't even know that this little flap opens up and then it's got the little perforation where the little lip scrub and lip cream are which is really cute I thought that was a really cute way to package these so I am going to include this in the giveaway. Next up, we've got another mermaid tail brush. Again, with these things, you're bound to get a lot of repeats because there's only so many products that they have, but that means I get to share more, so I don't really mind. Next up, we've got a couple more repeats, and these are the Velvet Soft Fog Lip Muds from Coolio in the shade number three. This was the one that was like that pink soft matte packaging then we've also got another repeat and this is that eyebrow cream and pencil that i showed you guys earlier so that's another fun goodie for someone who hopefully actually uses eyebrow products <laughs> then we've got this little concealer palette it is from that assess us has brand and it's got four different shades it is wrapped in this plastic I am gonna leave it in the packaging because I don't think I'll be using a concealer palette so I do want to pass this along to someone who will actually use it I feel like so far we've basically gotten a well-rounded amount of different parts of the face makeup routine I think the only thing that's kind of missing is a powder powder and a foundation but now we've got concealer I feel like other than that we've got pretty much everything you might need to do a full face of makeup next up we've got this super super cute box it's from that Coolio brand again again their packaging is just so good but it says cookies on here and says cookies sweetheart ripple eyeshadow I think this is that mini cookie palette that she was showing on the lives but it is so cute. Look at that packaging. It is so, so adorable. And it says this is in the shade one. Okay, so I got it opened and at first I was like, is something wrong with it? Cause look at it, what it looks like straight out of the packaging. And then I opened it up and I realized it was just a little styrofoam piece of foam protecting it. So I was like, ooh, that looks a little funky. But this is what the actual palette shades look like. This is so cute. It looks like almost like a blush palette, to be honest, the shades. Because it's got like this nice mauve pink and then this peachy orange color. Like I feel like they look like blushes, but I am going to swatch them for you guys. They smell really sweet like an apple pie that is like very confusing to my brain but that looks very very good so so far i feel like all of these swatch really great so we've got the peachy orange color and then the mauvey pink color over there very nice the packaging actually feels really nice ignore the foam on the inside i want to keep it protected for now but it is super cute this acrylic feels very thick and high quality i'm very surprised by that i'm very happy with that because this is just a cute little palette to have to put in your purse and keep it on the go but this one is in shade number one i did notice that i had some more palettes of this so i'm wondering if they're all different shades 
this one is shade three and this one is shade four okay so they're all different shades so let's get these babies open and start swatching them okay so this one is really exciting this is number three and it is super glittery this one almost looks like a highlight palette whereas the other one looked like a blush palette it is super nice i feel like this white shade is going to be great for the inner corners of my eye and my brow bone okay so this is what the two shades look like i feel like compared to all the other shimmer palettes this one is a little more subtle so that's not necessarily a bad thing but i feel like this one might be one of those that requires like you wetting your brush a little but i don't know if that's maybe it's like a baked shadow because it is like a cookie palette so maybe it's because it's baked oh this one is like different it's kind of like a cookie it really does look like a cookie like an oreo combo so we've got this matte brown shade and then this shimmery white shade which i feel like that's a cool combo to have because you can take this on the go and do a quick little look but this is what the brown shade looks like oh it's like my perfect like all over the lid shade it's like this pretty taupe color and then let's swatch this white one again it is a little more subtle i feel like this one is whiter than that other white from the other palette so i'm happy about that but i've got all of the shades here Ugh, hopefully you guys can see that white shade it is right there that glittery white shade but it looks really nice i really like the mattes though i feel like those are really impressive but i'm really happy to have a variety of them because i feel like the palette is just so stinging cute but they definitely look like they could be used for other parts of the face which i will definitely try out at some point point. and speaking of not having any powders right next up we've got two little loose powders they're from that hojo brand so it's just like a plain white box i think they're the same color yeah it says number one soft purple so I wonder if it's actually purple because I've never had a purple powder. I don't know what that would be used for, but it is so, so cute. Look at the packaging. It almost looks like a Pokeball, but it's got like a flat end there. So this is what the packaging looks like on the inside. It's got the little puff. Very soft. Ooh, this is very nice. And so this is what it looks like. It looks like the powder is actually a light purple color because some of it came out of the side let me show you guys up close can you guys see that on the puff i'm gonna look up what like purple powders might be good for like if it's for like dark spots i don't know so i'm gonna look that up but one of these is definitely going in the giveaway because i don't need two of them so yay one for me one for you next up we've got two more of that colored mascara from coolio Again, amazing packaging. It is very cool. It reminds me of like astrology or like something spiritual. I like that a lot, but these are both in the shade number two. The one that I opened up previously was the blue one, I believe. So I think this one is a different shade. So I'm gonna open one and save the other for the giveaway. It looks like it's gonna be like a pink reddish shade which i'm a little scared of because i just don't imagine wearing that on a daily basis but maybe with like a halloween costume or like a fun makeup look that might look really cool got that same pen like packaging oh this one's not popping out but it is super cool and sleek like i said like it's got a nice metallic feel to it, it feels very cool this is what it looks like oh this is like a red <gasps> whoa i don't think i've ever really seen like a red mascara so i'm just gonna pop that right back in because i don't want to get that red all over the place but very cool again packaging is cool i wonder what red mascara is gonna look like on i've just never imagined having a red mascara before but now i do then next up we've got another of these luxury pet temptation velvet lipsticks from novo this one is in the shade red brown last one we got was cinnamon i believe so it is a different shade so we are gonna open this one up again this one has that really cool packaging it reminds me of a little like microphone because of the little ball at the end but also the little ball at the end is kind of making me hungry for ferrero rocher <laughs> So this is what it looks like up close, get that open, this is what that 
snake skin freaks me out, but looks very cool. This one looks like it's like a darker color. I like that shade a lot. It is a really darker red color. Looks really nice. Oh, I like that one a lot. I think that one is like one of my favorite shades so far. Next up, we've got this little box here. It says Rock Sweet Party multicolor eyeliner pencil and the brand is color grid this one again the packaging is so stinking cute look at this little guy what is that what is that supposed to be is he like a little yeti but like cutesy and furry like what he is so stinking cute he almost looks like a gingerbread man but not I don't know, he's just so cute. But I don't know what color this is, but we shall see together, I guess, because I haven't gotten anything from this brand yet, I believe. But it looks like they've got like this cute purple packaging. I really like the packaging. Ooh, and the top is like lavender with this like the soft matte kind of feel, but this part is like plasticky. Very cute. And again, no color on here, so, oh, it says color 90. Oh, it's perfect, it's black. So this is what the tip looks like. Let's just draw a quick straight. Oh, just kidding, it's purple. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. It's like a dark purple, like, it, oh my God, it's so pretty. I was not expecting that. I really thought this was black. I feel like that's gonna look really, really cool. I'm excited about that one. Next up, we've got another box from them. So I'm assuming the color of the box might be the color of the eyeliner because this one is like a light pink color. So maybe that means that this is gonna be a pink eyeliner. I guess we'll see in a second. But again, the packaging is so stinking cute. I love the little guy in the front. Oh, I guess this one's gonna be red because it's like super red. I wonder what I can do with a red eyeliner. Ooh, sounds like a spray paint. No, it's like a magenta pink, I would say. This is what it looks like. This pinky color, very cute, very nice packaging. It comes out very silky, and I like the tip that it's like so fine because it makes it easier for someone like me who struggles a lot with eyeliner which by the way I finally did like a winged eyeliner for like the first time in like months and I'm shook that it actually stayed and I kept it on because usually I end up attempting to do a winged eyeliner and then I wipe it off by the end of it because I get pissed off because they don't match up but I'm really happy today that they kind of match up they are a little slightly goofy but I'm gonna take it. Next up, we've got another one of these lollipop eyebrow cream eyebrow pencil little sets. The little Victoria's Secret looking one. So we've got another one to add to the giveaway, which is exciting. We've got a lot of eyebrow pencil stuff. And then speaking of, I think this one is also, yeah, it says eyebrow, what does it say? It's like super, oh, there we go. It says four tip eyebrow tattoo brow. Okay, so it looks like it's a tattoo brow. It's in the shade number two. We've got two of them. Again, I don't do my brows, but this one looks really cool. If it's like a tattoo brow, I wonder how long the lasting power is. But the brand, I am not sure what the brand is. It says that it is waterproof. It says tint my four tip brow on the side, but no brand name. Next up, we've got another of the mermaid brushes. So we've got another one to add to the giveaway. Then we've got this cute little eyelash curler. Look at the little paw, it's a little paw, it's so cute. I think that I've seen that this style of eyelash curler is actually good for people who have like Asian lashes and like shorter lashes, but I don't know how true that is. I have pretty good lashes honestly so I have never had trouble with you know regular eyelash curlers but I love that this has like the little bunny ears and it's so cute these are really good for travel so I'm excited to have this next up we've got another of those Hojo lipsticks I feel like this packaging it's got to be the prettiest one in the scoop so far because look at that it's so pretty I'm assuming it's the same kind of lipstick as that red one so let us see. So this is what the lipstick tube looks like. It is so, so pretty, so classy. The shade is number 304. I don't think there's a name on it. So let's open this one up. Ooh, this one is a darker red shade as well. 
feel like finally because I feel like there was a lot of brighter reds at one time that one looks very very similar to the previous one up top I forgot what it was already but it is more of a red shade I feel like the other one is a little lighter this one's a little deeper I like this one a lot this one looks really good let me give it a sniff oh it smells chocolatey I forgot already this is really yummy it smells very chocolatey so I do like that smell so I'm excited to have another one of that I'm glad that I got a different color and then speaking of I got another one I just saw it in the bag so one of these is going to you guys I'm excited to share this with you guys because it is just so so cute and then we've got also another of the red ones so that pretty red one I am going to put one of these in the giveaway as well that is a lot of goodies I feel like I'm gonna have to split it up because it's just so many things next up we've got four of these artistic diamond shiny eyeliner they're waterproof and they're from that brand maliao and these are all in the shade red i don't think that we got one of these previously but i'm gonna check real quick we didn't so i am gonna open one of these up so that you guys can see what it looks like but the other three will be going in the birthday giveaway of course but the packaging looks very cool it is like this glittery red pencil i like the feeling of it so again this is a red eyeliner i've got way too many red eyeliners now i feel like Ooh, but that's really nice it is like super red this one isn't glittery i think it, it is kind of like metallic the other one felt like it was straight up shimmery but this one is like metallic i like how it looks to be honest i don't know if i could pull off a red eyeliner look but we'll see about that because now i have a lot of red eyeliners then next up we've got two of the hojo powder tube light mist silky lip muds let me double check because i think i did swatch this so I did swatch this one before. This is in the shade 627 Maroon. So I'm excited to put these two in the giveaway as well. This is what, again, the packaging looks like up close. It is so gorgeous. Look how pretty that looks. I can't. We've got a couple more things. Next up, we've got this eyeshadow palette. It is the Retro Eyeshadow My Favorite Melodies Eyeshadow Palette number color 9, I guess it says. And this is from the brand Jojo. So this is what the packaging looks like on this palette. Very cute. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. This one looks actually, the colors again look reminiscent of that Femme Rosa palette that I showed you guys earlier. It has this really cool mirror and it looks like a record. I love that. That looks really cute. But this is what the actual shades look like. They look pretty good pretty usable very berry like and i'm gonna double check because i feel like yeah i feel like the shades are kind of similar to the femme rosa palette kind of similar i don't know there's like some really similar shades here but this is what the two palettes look like next to each other i don't mind it because clearly i like this color story so i am excited about that i'm gonna swatch this shimmery shade right here this like lavendery silvery shade okay that's a little more subtle than i was expecting this one might need to be wet first let's swatch a matte shade next okay so the matte shades in this palette seem to perform much better so these are the two matte shades right there and this is the shimmery shade it looks really good i feel like their eyeshadow palettes are actually performing way past what i was honestly expecting but i'm really excited that it's actually good quality so that was this little rock star palette very cute and then last but not least we've got this little guy and it says it's a mini lip mud from that gigi brand it says long lasting color and then it says down here throbbing powder cheese mist feeling lip mud Throbbing. I don't know if I'm excited to hear that a lip product is called is throbbing. I feel like that is not the best descriptor to use, but again, I bet that's a translation thing. But the shade that I got is F01 Throbbing. What a great 
word. <laughs> so this is what the packaging looks like up close. It's just a simple pink packaging. So on the packaging itself, it actually says mini blush. But on the box, it said mini lip mud. So I guess you can use this for both lips and the cheeks. But I guess that's how all these products really are. But this is what the color looks like. It looks like a very, very beautiful red color. It almost looks like my lip color right now. Mmm! And it smells super good. It smells like yummy, like fruity. It smells like a candy. It's triggering like a memory, but it smells really good. I'm gonna go get a lip brush real quick so I can swatch this. Okay, so I've got a brush. Oh, that is like way softer than I was expecting. It is almost like a moussey texture. I don't know if you guys are gonna see it with the like, ooh, it's so soft. And yeah, this is like a, okay, so a lip mud, I guess is just like a moussey texture, but I really like that color. It is less intense than I thought it was gonna be, which honestly, I feel like is a good thing. Because I didn't want it to be too crazy, but it looks like it's gonna be really comfortable. It feels really soft on the skin. So I'm excited to see what this looks like on the face and on the lips. But yeah, the packaging is super cute. It's like a nice little frosted acrylic container. This is like super cute. I kind of wish I got more of them, but I didn't know if there was other colors. If there were any, I would have loved to try them out. So that was the last product in our giant baggie. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little overview of all of the products real quick laid out so that you can get an idea of what we've got all together because we went through a lot of products today and yeah I want to see what it looks like all together. So if I counted correctly we got 41 products not counting the freebies in this little scoop. I feel like this one was a major success Got lots of great goodies. So here is a quick little overview look of both of the scoops put together. Definitely a lot of goodies for sure. Okay guys, so that was it for my two lucky makeup scoops from Pop Color Makeup on TikTok. So overall, do I think it was worth it? Honestly, yes. It was so fun just unboxing and honestly it was super fun to just watch her scoop it to begin with. I was having like so much fun. I felt like I was like nervous. I was like, ooh, what am I gonna get kind of thing. It was so much fun. I low-key wish that TikTok will bring it back. I hope that they do maybe in the future. Maybe if they just find a way to regulate it a little better. I don't know. Probably not because TikTok gets a little strict when it comes to the banning stuff. But overall, I think it was really worth it. It was so much fun. I hope you guys had fun watching me unbox them all and swatch them all because I feel like overall the products were really great. The quality of the makeup was really good. The packaging was really, really good. So I'm excited that I was able to pick up two while it was still going on. Hopefully, like I said, at some point they bring back these scoops, but I really enjoyed unboxing these with you guys and I'm really excited that I did get a lot of repeat stuff so that I can share them with you guys. So definitely keep your eyes out for that. Definitely subscribe so that you guys can get the update once I post my birthday giveaway. And I'm really excited that I was able to get so many of these little foam balls. I don't know why I was so excited to get these, but I bottled them all up from my packages and the crafter in me is already trying to think of ways that I can use these in a little DIY. If you guys can think of any ideas of what I can do with these, probably just gonna make some sort of shaker because, I mean, they already look like they're shaker bits. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed unboxing this and swatching these goodies with me. I look forward to sharing some of these goodies with you guys soon with my birthday giveaway. Let me know down below which one was your favorite so that I can make sure that that gets included in the birthday giveaway coming up. But thank you guys so, so much for watching again and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! If you can take my